Hey Darby tubers, it's been a while, but uh, I'm in my garage and I wanted to talk to you about my fat. Not the one around my waist, but today we're talking about the one that puts stuff around my waist. So we bought a pig, well, part of a pig, and nobody else wanted the fat. So I got these bags of fat. I got like four of them. There's another one in the, in the house and nobody else wanted it. And the farmer tells me that use the fat and make lard. He's like, it is the best thing to have, way better than using cooking sprays and other oils that are processed. He's like, you can get some good quality lard out of it that's pure and white that you could use for making, you know, pie crust or yeah, other things that you would use lard or, or shortening for, cookies, all that stuff. So we're gonna end up with a couple different grades. Let me show you what we're doing. Okay, here we are in the kitchen. I have one of my bags of, of lard, or fat, it's not lard yet, and uh, I've been cutting it up and trimming off some of the excess uh, weird ends and stuff. So I now have a crock pot full up of fat. Mmm, doesn't that look like amazing? These are some of the ends that were a little bit uh, different colored or maybe had a little bit of meat or whatever. Apparently that can spoil your lard having some different impurities in it. So the goal is to try and get as white and as clear as possible. And that can be used for the most things. You get different grades as we go through the process. Um, and so your last grade is the least quality, has the most pork flavor to it, which doesn't sound like a bad thing if you like bacon. Um, so that, that lard is great for, you know, if you're scrambling some eggs or whatever it may be and you don't mind having that little bit of extra seasoning flavor in it, it could work out really well. Maybe Yorkshire puddings. We haven't tried that yet, but uh, I know my girls are not a fan of this process and this new experiment. So, all right, we'll see how this goes. We're going to turn the crock pot on and uh, we'll keep you updated. We'll see how this goes, low and slow. Okay, it's been about three hours and we're just getting the first rendering of fat. So we kind of scoop it out, dump it in here, and then underneath I'm collecting that, and then I'll push that through a cheesecloth to filter out any other little chunks that are in there. I've already taken most of this out, I forgot to do a video on it. You can see how much I've caught on the first bit, so anyway, we'll see first attempt. Okay, so our first rendering, we got just under two cups of lard. That needs to cool, but we're going to filter it out going into the jar. Just to help purify what we have. Because you don't want floaties in your, your, your lard, do you? No, says Bella. Thanks, Bella. I think she's really excited about this and hoping that I'm going to drop some somewhere. Looking good. I'm sure the suspense is just building online for you guys. There we go, almost done. So I did a three layer cheesecloth. Oh, how full are we? Nope, we're looking good. This is gonna fit perfectly in this jar for our first rendering. You can see all the bottom sediment I'll come around in the bottom of the measuring cup. I don't want that in our lard. But that's why the cheesecloth is there for you. So, perfect. Look at that. We'll see what it looks like when it cools, but uh, yeah. Best looking lard I've ever made. Okay, Derby Tours. We're going to call it good. I think we've 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 done what we can. So this is what's left of our big huge crock pot of fat. This is disgusting. <laughs> Apparently it's a delicacy. David, you might be able to fill me in on this one uh, down south. They like to put it in their cornbread and uh, roast it, a little crispin it up. They call it cracklin. And you can eat it plain, put it in cornbread, put it on salads, because that's what a healthy salad needs. Anyway, um, so we're down. Let me see if I can get this to go the right way here for us here. Put this down. Okay. So here you can see 
all our jars that we've got to. Oh, I'm gonna have more than gonna fit in this jar. Oh boy. Um, so this was the first render at this side. You can see how white that is. And then second, third, fourth. I don't know, these ones aren't that different, but uh, yeah. Ended up with, uh, with I'd like to say a, a healthy amount of lard, but maybe that's not the appropriate thing to say. Uh, anyway, but you can definitely see the color change in it. This is this is the whitest, and it kind of decreases as it goes down. This both of these probably aren't. This probably isn't that bad for baking with. Um, so I guess cooking in the West will be the next video. I'll have to make a pie crust and uh, make something creative out of that. So. All right, we're back. It's the next morning. I left the lard in the fridge overnight. See how it how it change, and this is what we ended up with. So actually. They're all more white than I thought. This last one, this is the last one, and this was the first one. There is a slight color change as you progress along. Um, this one I think is more it's just the shadow of the jar. Um, it is it fits in line with that sequence of uh, of color change, but it's uh, it's not a, quite as drastic a change as I thought between the first and last batch, to be honest. Um, anyway, yeah. This will be interesting. We'll try making something next.